Hi, this is Lucas from Grindhouse Whatwares, and I'm here to answer your questions. And Sean's in the background screaming at technology. Um, so the first question we have is from Amon Ra, uh, and he asks, <clears throat> So far, biohacking has been a very loose association of people on the Internet, and some people from the body mod scene. You are the first to really form a group to pursue, to pursue grinding. Uh, what will you see happening in the midterm, say, the next five years? Will things just continue as they are? Will we see more small groups like Grindhouse What we're forming? Will we see corporations start uh, to get into this game? Um, my reply. Uh, so within five years, I think we're going to see hacker spaces beginning to flirt more with human augmentation. Um, I don't see there being many dedicated grinder groups uh, forming, but I hope I'm incorrect. Right now there's Grindhouse Wetwares uh, and there's um, some stuff going on at Hack DC. Oh, it's um, Grind DC now. Oh, it's Grind DC, yes. Um, and in terms of corporations getting into human augmentation, I believe the technology will be there, but because of uh, legal red tape, um, I, I'd stretch it out to maybe 10 years. Um, the second question, also from Amon Ra, uh, what, should we, what should we be doing to make sure implants are secure? Magnets are safe. Uh, you, can't hack into, you can't hack into something like that. But devices that have processors and networking uh, could start seeing attack, attackers targeting these devices. For example, last year we saw... Uh, Barnaby Jack claiming attacks against insulin pumps and pacemakers. We have yet to see these attacks in the wild, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. I guess the open source model can help with security. Uh, we can all see what our implants do, and uh, and for now, so few devices, uh, no one will be trying to hack them. Uh, but how should we... Be how should we make sure that the next generation of malware doesn't target our own bodies? Um, so with all uh, forms of technology, there's going to be uh, a vulnerability to that. Uh, I think the way to mitigate that risk is to make the hardware and the code open source, um, to have a large enough community where we can generate a wide variety of uh, of defense mechanisms, different things to uh, to defend against or get around uh, malicious hacks, uh, to engage the wider hacker community in a positive way so that the people with the potential to harm us won't have a reason to, and uh, to have an open and positive interaction with people that are opposed to what we do. Um, we, you know, we want a future in which debates happen, not, you know, any sort of uh, violence or bodily harm. That's definitely not what we want to see. Um, again, from Amon Ra, question three. Uh, what slows down progress for Grindhouse What was the most? Money, lack of technical expertise, difficulty sourcing components, lack of time, uh, lack of test subjects. What can we do to help Grindhouse What was achieve its goal? Um, so... Most of Grindhouse Wetwares, uh, they have day jobs, essentially, so time is a major issue. Um, and we're also throwing our own personal money uh, into every project that you see on the website and projects that aren't on the website. Spoilers. Um, so the goal uh, in the near term is, is to get us to a point where as many of our members can be uh, full-time as possible so that we can um, put out quality grinds um, at a faster rate uh, with more features, um, you know, with less edge around them. Um, in terms of the community, uh, I think if the community begins to work on projects, we can begin to network easy, uh, easily um, and pretty soon we will be engaging the community in new ways uh, as the year progresses, so stay tuned.
Uh, we have one question from Ruby. My name is Ruby, and I've recently come across an article about some of your body hacking and modification work. I'm very satisfied. Uh, I'm very interested in the idea, but I'll admit I don't know much about it. Since I'm based in Massachusetts, I was wondering if you would be able to point uh, point me in the direction of people in and around Boston who are involved in the biohacking field, just so that I can get a better idea of what it's about. It's so fascinating. Thank you so much, Ruby. Uh, thanks a lot, Ruby. Um, it's always nice to get people uh, interested in what we're doing. Um, so currently, there are no grinder groups in the Boston area. Uh, the two place, the, the two closest places to you, unfortunately, is in Washington D.C. Uh, Grind D.C. Uh, that operates out of um, Hack D.C. and uh, Grindhouse Wetwares that operates out of uh, Pittsburgh. Um, the Boston area uh, has an advantage because uh, not over all of the all of the cities that we're in now, but uh, on the East Coast, because you have a lot of engineers and scientists and researchers in one area, um, and you know the university MIT attracts a lot of people uh, with a very innovative uh, spirit, so. Um, if you want to start your own group and kind of latch on to that culture, um, go right ahead. Uh, we're, we're always looking for people to start up new groups. But uh, at the moment, there are only uh, two groups in the meat space that are grinding. Uh, so that's all the questions that we have. Um, if you have any more, uh, send them to us. Uh, the email will be in the link below. Um, all right. Bye.